Hi there, I'm Andrea and in this video I'm going to share with you some examples of how to use an extremely useful new feature in ACDC Photo Studio for Mac 6, Saved Searches. The Saved Searches pane is in Manage mode on the right hand side of the screen below Keywords and above Special Items. You can use Saved Searches to quickly find photos taken with a certain device or photos that were taken on a specific date, like a birthday or anniversary, or even find photos with particular people in them, provided you've gone in and added people's names as keywords already. Let's start with searching by device. For this example, I'm going to search for all of my raw files from my Sony camera. To create a new saved search, click on Create a new saved search, or the plus sign in the Saved Searches pane. The window that appears asks for a search name and for your search parameters. I could name this search Sony Photos, but instead I'm going to name my search Point No Point, which will make more sense in a bit. For the search parameters, I'll navigate to an image I know was taken with my Sony, switch over to Properties, and drag the Type field over. When you drop that into the search field, you can see it changes, and now it looks a bit confusing. Don't let this scare you off. You can edit this to perform the search you want. The best way to get to know how it handles the search parameters is to just drag and drop different fields in here and see what they do. If I click Save and Run right now, you will see this gives me all my raw Sony files, which is great. Now I want to narrow this search down a bit further to show you how to search by a specific date. I'm going to search for just the pictures that were taken on a trip to a place called Point No Point, hence the name of my search. To do this, I need to add a date parameter that I know will help narrow it down. In this case, I'll drag and drop the modified date into my window from one of my pictures from Point No Point. You can see it automatically puts parentheses around each parameter and adds the operator AND between them. That means it is going to search for files that match both parameter 1 and parameter 2. Before I click save and run again, I need to change the date and time so it's not so specific. I know that trip was the first time I used that camera, so I'll set the time to be less than or equal to 11.59.59 on the same date. That way it will only include files taken before midnight on that day. If it wasn't my first time using that camera and I needed to limit the results to just that day, I would add a third parameter that said AND modification date greater than or equal to 0000001 AM on that date. But in this case, I don't need to do that. So I can now click save and run. These are all my raw files from point no point. Now I'll do one more example, this time searching by keyword to find photos of me and my dog. For this to work, you must have already added names as keywords, which I have. Now my dog's name is Daryl, so to start the search I'll just drag and drop his name from under keywords to the quick search bar. You can see it now populates with photos that contain the keyword Daryl. To turn this into a saved search, I click on the drop down arrow beside the magnifying glass, go to save searches, and save. I'll name the search Me and Daryl and click Save. Now I need to go in and edit this search by right-clicking it and selecting Edit. The saved search window pops up again and I'll drag my name over. You can see it automatically adds the operator OR, but that's not quite what we want. OR will give us all the photos that have me in them and all the photos that have Daryl in them, but not limit it to ones with only me and Daryl in them. So I'm going to change OR to AND so that it limits the search results to photos with me and Daryl. But this still includes ones with our other human, Matt. So I need to edit the search parameters further to not include Matt. I can do that by dragging and dropping his name into the search items as well. I want it at the end though, and I want it to not include him, so I'll use the NOT operator. Now I'm ready to click Save and Run and here are all the photos of just me and Daryl. The beauty of saved searches is that they update dynamically based on the criteria you've set. So going forward, any photos that have Daryl and I but not Matt as keywords will automatically be added to these search results. Those are just a couple of the many ways you can use the exciting new saved searches feature in the latest release of ACDC Photo Studio for Mac.